Okay, now let me go to some other questions for deploying liquidity. Institution can execute Murabaha, Musawama, or may purchase commodities on salam basis and sell the same on deferred payment basis. True or false? Wow, okay. Are you asking a question uh, uh, if it's a true or false? Okay. For deploying liquidity, institution can execute Murabaha, Musawama, or purchase commodities on salam basis and the sell the same or deferred payment basis. Uh, yes, uh, true, why not? I mean, they can do Murabaha, they can do Musawama, uh, they can purchase commodities on Salam, yes, but for Salam, they have to pay advance uh, and sell the same on deferred payment basis. Yes, if the, if the latter sale is not Salam, then it can be on a deferred payment basis. But if it's a Salam, for Salam, I mean, if it's a parallel Salam, then it's a requirement to have the payment on a spot, uh, full payment on a spot. So I hope that answers your question. In the answers mentioned true, but how come Al Salam purchase sold? Oh, okay. I believe the it's true because uh, I mean most probably, most probably in the question as I read as well. I have I just read your second question now. So perhaps uh, when I read the question, it is understood that the second leg of the transaction is not salam. So this is something you have to be very careful about when you read the questions. Don't assume anything which has not been mentioned in the uh, in the in the clause in the question. So if we read the question again, it was saying um, uh, may purchase commodities on salam basis and sell the same on deferred payment basis. See, both are two different. Salam is a different type of contract which requires advance payment. And in the second leg, it's saying sell the same on deferred payments basis. It, it is not saying based on salam, a deferred payment salam basis or deferred salam basis. It's not saying that. Or it's not saying that same on salam based on deferred payment basis. It's not saying that. So we shouldn't assume that it was salam. When it is not saying it's salam, we assume it's not salam. If it's salam, it will mention it's salam, right? And this is why it, 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 it should be fine. So we are we are procuring from based on salam, but we are selling as a general contract. In Arabic, we call bay mutlaq, as a general contract, it's not salam. So in any general contract, you can have deferred payment, no issue. Um, however, I see another, uh, another aspect to it as well. When I'm purchasing on salam basis, I am supposed to receive the 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 commodities on a future date right so this second leg since the payment is deferred no issue usually payment can be deferred no issue however we cannot have uh, both counter values deferred at the same time so this second leg of the transaction must be uh, constituted uh, must, must be um, concluded once the salam commodities are delivered even constructively, because if it is not delivered, then I cannot sell it to the second leg because the payment is uh, deferred already, right? So, so if if the payment if the if if the product was not ready, then I have no other choice but to do salam, and for salam I have to pay on a spot. So I hope that's that's understood. This session was brought to you by Taif and Adil. Uh, if you have uh, benefited from it. Please share in your social media platforms about both entities and share the word. Spread the word.